All right, which numbers in a fraction tell how many equal parts are in the whole? Ronnie. It's a Which number in a fraction tells how many parts there are in the whole, how many parts of the whole we have? Angelique. Numerator. Very good. Okay, and that's when you're thinking about fractions, you always need to remember what the parts stand for. What does the numerator stand for and what does the denominator stand for? All right, we're doing 7-3 today. Go ahead and get that open. Okay, Miss Clark made a loaf of bread. She used one eighth, one eighth of the bread for a snack and five eighths of a bread for lunch. How much did she use for the snack and lunch? So we're just going to do this with the model. One eighth is one eighth is what eighth size piece of the bread? It means how many? How many one-eighth pieces did we have? We had, it's kind of a weird way to write it. It's one. And if you were to sh shade it on your model here, you would show this is the snack, right? There you go. Go ahead and shade yours. Okay, the next one says five-eighths, and they're eighth-size pe pieces. How many is that? How many eighth-size pieces do we have? Only a couple of you are awake over here. Five eighth size pieces. So I'm going to color five of those. Now remember when you're doing a model, the, the pieces that you shade are representing, in this case, they're representing the pieces of bread that she used. So how many eighth size pieces did she use? I want your eyes up here. How many is that? Six. Very good. So when we write the fraction, we're going to say... Or it's she says eight six eight size pieces or six eighths of the bread. You can also use a bar model like we were doing the other day. You don't actually have to draw out of bread. This is a lot more difficult to draw than this. So we have a one whole. Here's the whole loaf of bread, and then we have the we have it represented as being split into eighths. And then you can shade one eighth for the snack and five eighths for what was that for? For lunch. Sounds like my house. Actually, not even. We use almost a whole loaf of bread, and they're not sliced into eighths. There's <laughs> We're a sandwich. Sandwiches for everybody in our house would be sixteen. <laughs> So we would be needing two loaves of bread of this size. All right, go ahead and shade yours in. So how many one eight size parts are shaded? Six, Six total. We can write it this way. one eighth plus five eighth equals Six eighths. So Miss Clark used six eighths of the bread. Explain how the numerator of the sum, that's this right here, the numerator of the sum is related to the fraction strip model. That's this right here. How are they related? Go ahead and write it in your own words. How are those two related? Did How many of you are making that harder than it needed to be? Okay, remember, it's, sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. That this, we shaded how many pieces up here? Six. Six, Six. and what's this number? Six. Six. Are those numbers related? Yes. Yes, they are. It's that simple. So don't make it harder than it needs to be. Um, I like how Tony restated the question when he answered it. So in this case, the, the sum, the numerator in the sum is related to the fraction strip, strip because it's the same number of pieces that were shaded. Okay. Number two, how, is, how are, oh, I'm sorry, explain how the denominator of the sum is related to the fraction strip model. So now we're talking about this and we're talking about this again. Now using the same idea, explain how they're related. Very good. So there's eight pieces all together. They're related because they're the same number. The denominator is eight and the, and the piece, total pieces is, are eight. Okay. Jacob needs two strips of wood to make 
masts for a miniature sailboat. One mast will be three sixths of a foot long. The other mast will be two sixths of a foot long. He has a strip of wood that is four six foot long. Is this strip of wood long enough to make both masts? Okay, so here's a strip of wood. Here's, is, I want to ask you a question. Is this his full strip of wood? I want you to think about the question I'm asking before you answer. Is this whole section here, is that his strip of wood? Raise your hand when you know that answer. And where did you get four six from? Okay, in the problem it says his strip of wood is four six of a foot. So don't be fooled because the model's there that that's how much wood he has. He really only has this much. This he does not have. Okay, so be careful on fractions like that that you understand what's being represented. So now we're going to start going to start with his, he needs one that's three six of a foot long. So I'm going to shade three. So far, so good, right? The other one is how long? Can you tell already? Is he going to make it? No, because we need one, two, and this one we already know doesn't even exist because we didn't have that piece. So we it says write the sum. If you do it just with numbers without a model, you would have 3, 6 plus 2, 6 equals how many? Five six. Is that sum less than or greater than four six? Sean. Is that sum less than or greater than four six? It's greater than. So is it long enough, class? Does he have enough to make both masts? No. So the strip of wood is not. Go ahead and do number three on your own what, once you finish writing it. Explain how you use the number line to determine if the sum was less than 4, 6. Okay, so you can look at the number line and you can see that 5, 6 is over here, 4, 6 is over here, but he needs this much, but he only has this much, okay? Um, what if each of the mass was 2, 6 of a foot long? Could Jacob use the strip of wood to make both masks? So let's go ahead and just add them using this method without the model. He has two six for the first one. How much is the second one now? Two, six. Right, two, six. both of them are two six. If I add those, what do I get? Four six. There we are. How much wood does he have? Four six. How much does he need? Four six. Does he have enough? Yes. Yes, he does, and that's why. All right, Gary's cat ate three-fifths of a bag of cat treats in September and one-fifth of the same bag of cat treats in October. What part of the bag of treats did Gary's cat eat in both months? We're just going to add those. Three-fifths the first month, one-fifth the second month. How much does that equal, class? Four, four, six. four, four not six. <laughs> Four-fifths. Here's the model. We see that he had... One, two, three, four of the pieces. Four pieces. Obviously, it's not pieces. It's parts of a bag. 